Gaffer safely into the, the next round of the FA Cup. It was a, a great start from you again tonight. Yeah, it was. No, I was just saying, you know, it's the start. This the score in three minutes um, gives you a great chance and a uh, great cross from Michael. Uh, tremendous header from Guion. He's he's on fire at the minute. You know, the boys. He keeps arriving in the box, and uh, I think that's nine goals he's got. So delighted for him. And uh, you know, great goal from Tails, who's in great form as well. You know, played in the half turn, shot from distance. Uh, something I've been been trying to encourage him to do more. A um, bit disappointing to lose him after, I think he felt his hamstring after he, he took the shot, but um, I think we've caught it early and uh, hopefully he'll be fine. Yeah, that first goal was great obviously for we were in the score, but you had so many players in the box and so early in the game and you obviously want to impose yourself on the opposition and that was key. Well, we done it We done it, uh, We done done it. it last week against uh, someone, I can't remember what it was against, but we scored within a minute um, at home So and we had five or six bodies in the box. So. We've got energy in our team. We've got legs. Um, I'd like him to do it more. You know, run, run forward more, and it's something we're trying to encourage him because of the positions our forwards take up in the in transition in, in, in the game. So, but well, yeah, listen, it, it's it's going okay at the minute. We just need to make sure we we um we stay on top of it. Yeah, hard to maintain that in the for, for the full half, of course, and then you have the penalty to contend with. You've seen it back, and it's a different viewpoint, isn't it? Different what you see live. Yeah, I mean, when I where I was stood, it looked like Luke had got there with his hands first but when I seen a different angle of it you know I mean I don't know where the referee's position was but I could I could see Luke touched it with his hands and it looked looked dodgy to me but um, from a different angle it looks like Luke's taking him with his feet um, and then took his ball but listen it's one of them ones where sometimes you get sometimes you don't you, you don't and uh, the referees give it but Luke's made an outstanding save to, to keep us in it. Yeah goalkeepers put a shift in in terms of the game but they also do a lot of research don't they and the goalkeeper coach Mark Tyler sits there with, a, with Luke and can go through that kind of thing. He does it every Friday, um, uh, sorry every Friday, every Monday did it yesterday. Um, he concentrates on the penalty takers who he takes and where they go where the last one was and um, in, Luke's cha- in the changing room and, and inside there Luke's got all the penalty takers up above his peg so um, definitely doing your homework does help. Yeah, Bredeman got a lot of minutes into his legs today and, and, and put in a good shift. He did, yeah. He found it. It was a bit. It took him a little while to get into the game, Brad. But when he got into it, you know, he got into his stride. He was, you know, he, he can move, Brad. You know, he's, when he opens his legs up, he can shift. And uh, I think he showed a glimpse of that tonight. Um, the more the more game time he get, the more confident they get. I'm sure when he gets into them positions again, he would take a shot instead of passing it. Um, but. Great to get him on, you know, he's coming back to the full fitness now and um, he'll be a big player for us. Yeah, big crowd tonight as well and they helped you a lot. Yeah, I think that, like I just said, I think the crowd helped us to, to start the game like they did. Um, it does help when you've got, you know, seven and a half, eight thousand Peterborough fans cheering you and uh, the boys have started great. Um, and, and they stuck with us right to the end. I think the most important thing today was uh, was getting the win, getting them doing the next round and, uh, you know, the wins for them because... It's a big day out at Chelsea. Uh, I'm sure they can all come and, and help us and support us and uh, we'll go and give it our best shot. And as a manager, you want to put yourself against the best and there isn't anyone as bad as Conte at the moment with Chelsea. Well, um, I might be sick out there. Actually. I might get <laughs> gloves. Gloves, gloves to take a team. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> ah, listen, it's, it's going to be a great chance for us to, to go there and put our wits against the best. Um, I don't know what team with Chelsea will put out, but whatever team they'll put out, I'm sure it'll be worth 200 million or whatever. But um, uh, we'll go there and give it our best best shot. Um, we won't be lying down. We won't be going there and play defensive. We'll just go there and, and play a normal game. Yeah, you just said to the press as well. There's only a couple of guaranteed bodies on that coach, coach driver yourself and, and Lee Glover. Yeah, it's something gloves uh, gloves said that uh, Brian Clough used in one of the FA Cup rounds, and uh, we just said it to the players. Anyone's guaranteed to go is me, gloves, and the coach driver. So we've got three league games um, coming up in between, and uh, the boys need to keep uh, keep. The performance level is high. If um, you know the league, the league is so important to us. So we want to make, we want to try and pick up as many points as we can in the league. And just finally, great for the chairman. Obviously, he's been here ten years. Not really had a, a real big tie, and this is a, a great day out for him. Yeah, it was. I mean, listen, every year, you know, since I've been here, it's the FA Cup third round or the second. I think we've been knocked out the second round a couple of times, but it, it always seems to throw us the same teams. And um, it was great, you know. Um, that we've withdrawn Chelsea because it was a great incentive for us. I know we've kept it quiet, but I was always thinking about it in the back of my mind that it will be massive for the club, not only you know off the pitch but um, financially as well. So um, it's great for us all.